Hey everyone, Thomas from the Crunchyroll store back with another great unboxing and review for you guys. This time we have a Lakota Bukia Artifacts J of the Kusuriri or Medicine Cellar from the series Mononoke. Thanks to our friends at Kotobukiya for sending this over to us so we can do this great unboxing and review for you. Really excited for this because Mononoke doesn't get a lot of merchandise and I, this is honestly one of the like coolest and, and most colorful figures I've ever seen so hope you are ready to unbox this and, and take a look with me. So first let's take a look at the box, the title of the show, Mononoke right here, not to be confused with Princess Mononoke, very different. Uh, Mononoke is actually a spin-off of another series called Ayakashi, Samurai Horror Stories. Uh, the medicine seller was actually a character in one of the episodes, uh, or actually one of the story arcs in that series, and they gave him a, his own spin-off show, and, and it's titled Mononoke. So we have this. Uh, if you notice on the side right here, it says Kusiriri in Japanese. That literally means medicine seller, uh, and that's what he is. This character is referred to in the entire series. He doesn't have a name. People just call him the medicine seller, and, and that's what he's known as. If you see the medicine seller, he's just kicking back and relaxing when he's not exercising demons. If we turn to the side, nothing there. Clear window uh, again. In the back you see actually how the figure is supposed to look with the full sculpt. Everything is pulled out. You notice the back of it. We'll take a closer look at it later. Uh, it's really cool, super colorful. I love it. I'm ready to pop this open and see where it goes from there. There we go. Cut this tape. Put this right here. So like I said, for those of you who don't know, uh, Mononoke is a series about the medicine seller where he kind of sells medicine on the side. He investigates the paranormal activity, really, kind of like spirits and demons, and, and his job is to exercise them. Uh, I guess medicine seller is just kind of his alias, so that no one really knows who he really is. He doesn't really have a, a background story or anything, but he's a really interesting character. I like the series in that the art style itself is designed to look like a moving painting. So if you're watching the series, it's it's very different from what you normally expect from an anime series. So it might be it might be odd if you're watching it for the first time, but I I, I implore you to watch the series. Um, I think the story itself is awesome. The animation is great once you get used to it. One of the most colorful anime series I've ever seen. So if you haven't watched it, try it out. I love it personally. But to the figure, if we cut this open here, here, here. Gotta be really delicate with this thing because I don't want stuff falling out. It's actually cool thing about this, it comes with a, a manual that'll tell you where all the pieces go. So we'll have this out, have this open for when we set this up. As you can see, normal figure blister packaging, the medicine seller is right in the middle, you can see his little the windowsill and we'll set up the little glass pane like backdrop for him. One of his sandals is off because he's just, he took one of them off, he's kicking back, he's relaxing. And then he actually has a pipe, which we can just put in his hand. We can slip it in there as well. You see like a, a, a plume of smoke, which actually goes with the pipe. So we pop this open. Uh, I love how these figures are always nicely packaged with the plastic wrap, making sure they never get damaged. Accessory pieces, here's his wooden sandal. It's actually pretty big, I would say. His pipe, and then his back. It's actually really hefty. I love the colors. I think it's, it's just like a clear acrylic plastic made to look like stained glass. We put that on here and kind of line it up to where where the pipe should be. Just uh, I slip this in right here, I think. There we go. And that's what it looks like, all set up. I think the colors on this are amazing. This sandal actually feels really nice. It's, it's just painted plastic, but they've etched like the wood grain kind of feeling into it, and I think it's it's, it's really awesome and I think it adds a lot of detail. The first thing you'll notice with this is that it's 
super vibrant colors. I love the detailing on this. The hair is perfectly sculpted. His robes, perfect colors match the show perfectly. And even the little detailing, like the sword that he uses to exercise demons with, it's actually a live sword. And this, this head right here, the way that they detail it, they put the face on it, the teeth, and even the gold detailing here gives this a lot of flair. And I think it, it perfectly uh, captures what the show wanted it to be. If you look at his face, you see that he has the face paint on there, um, his bandages around his leg. Honestly, one of the best figures I've ever seen. I like the silhouette a lot. And it really just captures the calm demeanor of the medicine seller. But when it's time to exercise demons and kick some butt, he just he goes at it. And and that's what I love about the show because it's such a juxtaposition of like he's he's always just trying to investigate, figure things out. He's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes. Um, trying to think of what's wrong, what the demon might be here for, how to best deal with the demon, and then once he once he figures it out, he kicks it into high gear and shows over. Probably one of the coolest characters that I've seen in a very niche anime series. And thank you to Kotobukiya for putting out a gorgeous figure of a not so well-known series. Please explore lesser known series more often. There's such a huge catalog of anime series out there and I really would love to see a, a deeper dive into, into all of the crazy, fanatical, different series that no one has ever seen before. So um, good job to Kotobukiya. Keep doing what you're doing. Great figure for those of you who don't have it already. You can find it on the Crunchyroll store. Regular price is $114.99. Premium members get it for $105.99. That does it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please leave your comments. Let me know how you like the figure. Um, if there's any other figures, any other products you'd like me to do, let me know. Hit the comment section. Uh, until next time, see you guys.